YouTube, it's your boy Sean Matry, and I am here to teach you the hardest combo deck in Duel Links. Yes, it's the hardest deck. I, I truly believe it's the hardest deck in Duel Links to learn. Um, and we're going to go over it. It's called World Chalice. Now, if you do not know how this deck works, um, it's, it's kind of complicated. Um, basically, what you want to do is you're going to summon a bunch of dudes and you're going to combo it's off. Time to link into the brains. Uh, I'm going to teach you the best ways I can. With that being said, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over the deck completely here. The deck profile. Then we're going to go to the gate and I'm going to teach you how to combo. All right. So that way you don't open up and you say, man, I just pulled this deck. I'm going to play it on the ladder. And then you go, oh, well... I'm totally clueless and I have no idea what to do. So hopefully I can clear up some things for you. Anyway, let's go over the deck list and deck profile, shall we? Sorry about the sound effects there. Let's go over it. All right. Now, I, I know a lot of you probably do not have this card. It's the Age of Creation Venus. This card came out in Flame of the Tyrant, which was the fourth box to ever be released in Duel Links. Second mini box. Came out... I believe in 2016. All right. So if you do not have this card, um, do not panic. You can play Draconet, which comes in the link box, and it will be all the same. And you can still do your all your combo lines and whatnot. whatnot. So Draconet is still uh, good enough with this deck. I highly recommend uh, Venus over it, though, if you have it. Because um, Venus allows you to at least make a Firewall turn one when you have a weaker hand. Okay, and that uh, by that I mean you're not generally opening up Lee or w World Chalice. Which these we're going to discuss, you're going to want to play at three. Because World Chalice is absolutely nuts. And we're going to talk about it. Okay? So, on top of Venus... We play. So what she does. Let me just go over what she does first. Alright. Is that you pay 500 life. And you summon a shine bull out of the deck. Now. While that may not seem that good on the surface. It's actually considerably very powerful. Because. Um, those shine bulls you summon are link materials. So if you summon a shine bull out of the deck. It's a link material. Um, which makes her very versatile in that form. Also the shine bulls are normal summonable. Um, normals, which is very important. You may think of a Shine Bowl as an absolute brick in this deck, and you may say, well, why the heck would I ever want to draw one of these? There is purpose. Alright, so it's not a dead card in your end, and we'll explain that when we go over things. But, Venus is really, really, really powerful in making your boy. We'll show you. I'll show you in the combos. So, basically, you're going to summon two of these, and you're going to go off. You can even summon three at points, but when you go for your firewall combos, but in most point, we're going to summon two. Next, we're running two World Legacy Guard Dragon. This isn't a monster reborn, essentially, from the grave. And also, it's really good because while in hand, you discard it, and you can protect one of your monsters from being targeted. And it destroys the card. The only downside is the wet effects so to miss timing. Uh, unfortunately. But it's still really, really good. Because it can protect all of your Link Monsters. So this protects any Link Monster. Okay? So that could mean any one of your Link Monsters. Not Links, but Link Monsters. So if they're linked together, then you could get protection on them. And that includes the Code and Firewall as well as your World Chalice Links. Now, next is World Legacy World Chalice. Uh, by the way, when I go over the combos, I will talk about what Link means. This card, Chalice, is insane. Okay? This card is really powerful. For numerous amounts of reasons. A, first of all, its first effect is... Um, if a monster is special summoned from the extra deck, you contribute this card and immediately send that card back into the extra deck. So that's really powerful. So they link summon, goes back to the extra deck. Think of it as an on-field compulsory evacuation device. Alright, that's searchable through the stack. Very powerful. Alright. Now, 
Second effect makes this thing even more powerful, and it's that if this face-up normal summoner set card leaves the field, you get to special summon two World Legacy monsters, uh, World Chalice monsters, not World Legacy, World Chalice monsters, um, from your deck except World Legacy, World Chalice. So that means you could summon out your Lee, and you could summon out, um, yeah. You could summon out any World Chalice monsters. You could summon Lee, and you could summon Guard Dragon. And you could also summon Oram, because it's a World Chalice. Now, that is ridiculous, because if you draw this, you summon Lee, which on we'll talk about it um, in a second. She's the Stratos of the deck. We'll talk about her in a second. But, uh, you summon her out of the deck, and then you summon Guard Dragon, as we said, in the Graveyard is a Monster Reborn. You are suddenly gaining a ton of advantage in the deck. A ton. Um, almost like, I think, well, almost like I, if you guys have played Master Duel, you know how prank kits work and how they summon out of the deck and each kid summons another kid. Think of it like that. That kind of advantage. So, a ton of advantage. And if that wasn't enough, third effect of this is during the main phase, except the turn this was sent to the graveyard from the field. I uh, mean, no, not from the field. Anywhere. You can banish it, search a World Legacy card. So you can search a Lee, you can search anything and get a free plus one. This card is insane. You have to play it at three. No doubt. You might ask me, but sure, it's a level five monster. How are we summoning this? We'll get to M. Duke later on. Next is Lee. Lee on summon is a Stratos. Normal, special summon, whatever. Normal or special, adds a World Legacy I mean, World Chalice Monster for your deck to your hands. Okay? So you search this instantly. So this gets you here. And then, it, adding on top of that, where is my Lee? Um, if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one monster you control from your hand to the graveyard and add it to your hand. Now, you may not think much of this, uh, and you can only use each effectively once per turn. You may not think much of this because you say, yeah, but I can't search until the following turn if I search this turn. That's fine. But you may add it back to your hand if you have like a dead tech in your hand. Like if you open up two die and then she becomes an extender. So keep that in mind. Like if you open up double die in full combo, you might add her back as an extender. And I'll talk about what that means once we start getting into all the World Child's Link monsters. All right. Now, this is just a normal monster. You don't really need to pay mind to this. You can use this any World Chalice. Just keep it to World Chalice Monsters. It's Oram, believe it or not, as a kid. Um, miss two Mystical Space Typhoons, an unexpected die, which is summons level four or lower normal out of the deck. Now, people may ask me, why normals? Why would we run normal monsters? Well, I'm going to explain. All right. Once we understand the links, you'll understand what this is. And by the way, this deck is insanely free to play. All right, one run through the box, you got the whole core of the deck. One run through the box, you guys. One run through, sorry about that. One run through, and you got the whole core of the deck. So, simple, simple, simple. All right, now, the extra deck includes... 3 M Duke. Now, if you do not know what this card does, it's a Link 1. Now, being a Link 1, it takes any normal monster. So if you do not know how to Link Summon, pay close attention because you need to know have precise Link Summoning knowledge to play this deck. It takes a normal monster. So, Shine Ball or Oram or Chalice, chosen by the World Chalice, any of these. This gets you to normal. This is a normal. This gets you to normal, and this does. And it's very important to do into because this starts up all your combos. So during the main phase, you can normal summon a world chalice in addition to your normal summon set. So kind of like Elder. So if you know about Ritual Beast, think here. Okay. Whoop. Stop giving me bond. That's not what I want. So if you know about Elder, it's the same thing as Elder. Okay, it's the same thing as Elder over here, okay? Same concept, same purpose, okay? Normal summon during the main phase, 
you get that effect. Okay? Now, the only difference between this and saying, you know, uh, Tamer Elder, um, is that, um, it's not immediately applied when it hits the field. Elder is a conditional effect, so the minute it applies, um, you are able to normal summon in addition to it. That doesn't occur with Imduke, okay? But, it gives you that extra normal summon. Now, also, if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon a World Chalice monster out of your hand. So, once you link it off, you then can summon Lee out of the hand and combo off from there. You can also summon out uh, World Legacy, World Chalice. However, you generally don't want to be special summoning this because when you do, you won't get the summon two out of the deck. It must be tribute summoned to get its effect to summon out of the deck, which is fine because this deck generates enough advantage that you could do that. So what you generally do is you're going to special summon Lee, get the search, then tribute summoning World Chalice to summon out of the deck. So I'll show you that. Now, next is Ib. It takes two monsters with two different types and attributes. You can use Venus, you can use Shine Bowl to make this. This does not take any World Chalice monsters, unlike Oram. Alright, this link card cannot be destroyed by Battle or Card Effect. Alright, so while it's linked, meaning the arrows are pointing, it um, cannot... The, the arrows don't have to point, as long as it's next to another link monster. Um, uh, the... The link card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So we say link, we mean two links next to each other. Alright? Also, your opponent cannot target this link card with card effects. So it makes it difficult for them to get over it. Alright? Third effect, if the monsters that this card points to would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. If this is sent from the graveyard, uh, feel to the graveyard, special summon the world chalice in the end. The important thing you need to know about the Ib is that Ib has arrows that point left and right. And this is very important. Because when you're comboing off, Oram points down, left, down, right. But it points left and right. So you got to play these things in conjunction. There's an order. And that's where this deck can get confused and complicated. Because if you don't make do things in the right order, your whole play is messed up. Alright. Next is Oram. Now, Oram is a link two. It points down left, down right. So gains three. It takes two World Chalice monsters. So you cannot use any monster to make this specific. Gains 300 attack for each World Legacy monster in your graveyard with a different name. Any World Legacy. Second effect, you contribute one World Chalice monster this card points to. Then target one monster in your graveyard, special summon, special summon it to a, um, a zone that this card points to. You can only use. Um, this effect of Oram once per turn. If this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can special summon World Chalice from the end. Now, the one thing I want to bring up is every World Chalice monster, when they're sent to the graveyard, special summons a World Chalice in the end. And this is crucial. Because when you go to extend, when you link summon, you're constantly summoning at the end. But you got to constantly summon to the right zone. Okay? So, for example, you do not want to summon a Venus below where this thing points to. Because you need to tribute a World Chalice to revive. And if you put a Venus there, she's not a World Chalice. You're going to be very careful on zone placement. Next, and not definitely not um, least, is Ningirisu. This is the one you are. You only need one of it. Okay? But it takes two Link Monsters. So you're going to use an Im Duke and an Ib. Generally, not an Ib, an Oram. Oram, generally, to make this. Okay? And what this will do... Well, no, no, no. Sometimes you will use an Ib. Never mind. You are going to use Ib. All right? You're going to use Ib to make this. Not Oram. Most of the time. Now, the great thing about this is when it's Link Summon, you can draw a uh, number of World Chalice monsters equal to this card points. So you should draw a amount of cards equal to the number of World Chalice this monsters this card points to. All right? So, for example... Um, if it points left and right, right? So we the up really doesn't have card maybe in the mirror match, but if this points left and right, and the left and right arrows point to two World Chalice monsters, then you are going to draw two cards. So pot agreed. Second effect is once per turn, non-target. That means 
If you do not know what non-target means, that means if I activate the effect, my opponent must shame whatever card they want to activate directly in response to Nigirisu or they would risk losing that card. And then you get to send both cards to the graveyard. Alright? Non-targeting. Alright, so your opponent has to chain ahead of time or they risk losing it. They don't know what you're going to hit. Alright? It's blind to them, but you know what you're going to do. But it's blind to them. So, that's non-targeting removal. Which is good because this will add a Lunar Light Saber Dancer. Alright? Now, I want to go over something really quick. Also, like I said, if it's sent for the Field of Grace, specials on the World Child Saturday at hand. Alright? One thing I want to go over is Storm Axis. Alright? This allows us to run Deco Talker. So if you don't know what Deco Talker and Firewall Dragon do, I'm going to go over it. Deco Talker gains five, takes two effect monsters, gains 500 for each monster it points to when your opponent activates a card effect that targets a card you control. You tribute a monster this card points to and negates the activation if you do destroy the card. Good against targeting effects. Firewall Dragon takes two plus monsters. Once while this is a face up on the field, you can target monsters on the field or graveyard equal to up to the amount of monsters, not equal, up to the amount of monsters co linked to this card returned into the end. If this monster this card points to is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a cybers type monster from your hand. Alright. Let's talk about co-link. If you do not know what co-linking does, I'm going to explain. So, if you have a firewall dragon, let's say firewall dragon, right, points down. All right. So co-linking means that two arrows touch each other, touch each other. So if firewall dragon points down, I'm gonna want an M Duke that points up. If firewall dragon points left, if I have an M, it points left, and so does need gear suit. So, left, right, arrows, Nigirsu will point right, Firewall will point left, they touch. Um, opposites attract, and then they're co-linked. So, in order to bounce, you must be co-linked. Alright, so that's very important. There's something very important in link strategy, you gotta know about co-link. Alright, so that's what co-linking means. If you play Master Duel, you need to know that for Nightmares, they're co-link. Um, they're a co-link efficient thing, so... So you have to be very, very knowledgeable of that when it comes to like playing spirals or something. But it, like I said, if you if you know this deck, you could play definitely play spirals or something like that. Master Duel, no, the whole application of co linking in terms of like Nightmare Phoenix or Unicorn or something like that. But anyway, with that being said, let's go to the game. Now it may take me a few resets of the game to get the hand that we want, but I want to show you off the combos I, and. It's very important you stay with me here. Just stay with me the best you can. I'm going to try and go slow. We have no timer. So we can go as slow as we can. Don't even pay attention to what he summons. That's irrelevant. Just pay attention to what we do. Alright. We have the god here. Pay. Alright. I'm going to cut the voice. So you can only hear me here. Alright. So here's what you got to do. Alright. So we opened up. And that consists of Venus. Chalice. Lee, Dai, and Shine Ball. Now, with a hand like this, it may seem very confusing to you. But, I assure you, I'm going to unconfuse you very quick. Alright? So, the first thing you want to do is you want to activate Dai. Alright? We want to get a normal monster in the field. Now, in this case, since we opened up all this, we can go ahead and summon Chosen out of the deck. The reason why we're going to summon him out of the deck here is because by summoning him, we already have a ton of uh, things that can tutor out normals and world legacies. So we could go ahead and summon Chosen. Now, in situations where you don't, you may want to say Chosen in the deck, where you feel like, hey, I can't tutor as many normal monsters as I want. Because later on in the combo, you're going to want to summon an Oram out. And it's very important that you do this correctly. Alright, because you may want an extra normal out of the deck, and then if you don't have it, mess up the combo a bit. So, with this being said, we can summon an Orion here. Next, we are going to immediately link summon our Link 1 M Duke. Now, we can do this because we meet the material. The material is one level, one level four or lower normal monster. Well, actually, no, any normal monster. So, since we have a normal monster in the field, 
and it's a link one, which means everything in theory is a link one monster. I mean, not a link one monster. Everything in theory is a one card material for a link. So one material for a link, we meet the conditions to summon it. So we have our normal monster and a one for a link one. Bring out our Indu. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and we can summon Venus. Now, make sure you have to. You cannot play this deck without it. I want you to go into your settings and I want you to go down and click manual. Manual 2. Alright? See this? Manual 1, manual 2. This allows you at manual 2 to place any card where you want it. And that's very important because with this deck, as I said before, zone placement is very important. So you're going to go into your settings and you're going to select that. Now, we are going to summon Venus to the far left of where um, M. Duke is. So I'm going to turn on my video cam so you can see where I'm pointing. M. Duke is here. Okay? We want to summon here. Okay, so the far left of me, over in the far left zone. So we are going to do that. Next, we are going to activate our Shine Ball, our Venus effect to summon the Shine Ball out of the deck. Now, this is extremely important. All right, I can't tell you how important this is that you do this correctly. Do not normal summon Lee. Okay, do not. You're probably saying, why not? I get additional normal summon. No, that's going to be reserved for your chalice. If you normal summon Lee, you are not going to get your chalice effect. And then you are going to mess up. So what you want to do is we are going to go ahead and make Ib. And this is very important because in a case like this, we opened up chalice. So you would not normally have to worry too much here. But we... In a case where we don't open Chalice and we just have Lee, it's a very important step that you have to follow. We're going to go into Imp. So Link 2 takes two monsters with different types and attributes. We have the two material. We have our Link 1 Dragon, which is our M Duke, and our Shine Bowl, which is a Fairy. So now we're going to activate M Duke. And as I said before, every World Chalice monster floats. Now we're going to summon Lee. And again... Careful of the monster zone placement. I cannot, I cannot tell you this enough. Lee needs to be on the far right. The reason why is because if you don't summon Lee here, what's going to happen is when you go to use um, other effects, you're going to be stuck. You want to generally summon Guard Dragon under Oram. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to search. Now, at this point, you can pick up an extra Guard Dragon. You can pick up an extra World Chalice. I like to pick up an extra Chalice because it can be good and a board on another Chalice. If you wanted to, you don't have to, but you can. All right, and that's what's important here. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to summon um, another Shine Bowl. And at that point, we're going to make Oram. Now, we could extend here, but we'll have opportunities to extend later. But you can't, you do not want to extend here. Say no. Very important. Say no to this. Do not say yes. We do not say yes to this. Very bad. We say yes, then we can't extend into our child's play. And the same with Duke. You're going to say, uh-uh, no thank you. All right? We say no thank you. Okay? Now we can make Ib. Because we have two monsters with two different types and attributes. So we can make Ib. But before we do that, well, actually, no. We're going to do this. We're going to make Ib now. Because um, if I do that, then it kind of puts me in a really awkward spot. Now we can go ahead and summon out of the deck here.
and we can do a few things here uh, after we do that. So what we can do now is we're going to activate Lee and we're going to send our guard dragon to the graveyard. And you may say, why'd you do that? You just went minus. No, we did not. Just stay with me. Why did you do that? Just, just stay with me, okay? Trust me, there's a reason for everything. And once you know that reason, that's fine. Now, upon sending Guard Dragon to the graveyard, we are going to link this off again. I know if you've seen 100 Imdukes, but trust me, there's a reason for everything and there's a reason why we do it. Next, we are going to link these two off. Our Ib and our Imduke. Couldn't get the word out. To summon Ningirisu. And we're going to chain block. Now, if you do not know what a chain block is, I'm going to explain. If you have multiple effects that can be trigger effects in the same chain, you have an opportunity to choose the order. Now, in Duel Links, it does not work that way. The order is chosen for you. In Master Duel, it does work that way, and you could choose the order. Like, I could chain block, I could choose the gears to go first, last if I want to. You don't. But... It orders it right here in 99.9% .9 of the cases. But, you know, there are some cases where you would want to change the order. But in this case, you chain block, which is very important. Because if they were to use Salaman Great Roar and try to negate, they won't be able to negate the gear suit as it's protected. So keep that in mind. All right? So that's something you want to keep very much in mind when doing this. Now we're going to go ahead and summon, and then we can pot a greed. How the freak did we pot a greed? Well, as I said before, we can pot a greed simply because we have two world chalice pointing to it. So we have the opportunity to pot a greed. Um, now, as this, as a board, is okay, because we have disruption on turn one. All right. Now, if we want to end on firewall dragon, we might want to do something a little bit more differently. Uh, than what we've been doing. All right, so we might want to do something a little bit more differently if we want to end on a copy of Firewall Dragon. Now, the very important thing is that Firewall has to co-link, and this is extremely important because if you don't co-link it, then you are going to be a sad little bunny, as you are not going to combo off and you're going to cry. All right, so we don't want to. We don't want anyone crying. Uh, if we're going second. Um, we don't need to firewall, which is what we were doing the whole time. But if we wanted to firewall, we do have the opportunity to do so. Um, there was a little bit more of an opportunistic opportunity, I guess, if we kept... If we had kept Chosen in the deck and, and summoned the third Shine Ball out instead, that would have given us an opportunity, I guess. But, you know, then that would have left, uh, one more Induke, so to speak, in the deck. Um, and we would have more opportunity to do that. If we're going second, we're generally using the gear suits effect here so we can send them up and then go for game. But for the funsies here and everything considered, I'm going to end you on a firewall um, play. If you're going turn two, go for OTK. But if we're going for firewall, we can do this here. And just follow me. All right. So if we go for firewall, we can link these two off. And we can make firewall. Do not say yes. By the way, if you have this on the field, do not, do not say yes to that. Or you are going to be very sad. Do, do not say yes to that. All right. Now we are going to make Deco Talker under Firewall Dragon. And now we've drawn two cards and we have a crazy field. So now we have Firewall and Deco Talker. So this Deco Talker will protect Firewall from being targeted if we're going turn one. And we can optically bounce if we want and set an MST and pass. The only difference is we have one less card in the hand, so this probably wouldn't be in the hand. But we'd have one less card, but we would have an untargetable Firewall and an opportunity to bounce like a Cyber Slash effect alongside an MST. And then we can just wing for game going second. So that's the basics of a combo. When you open up Venus. Alright, so if we open up Venus, that's the combo. Alright. Also, I am going to be cogging with this on Twitch. We are currently Legend 3. Probably later tonight, 
So if you do not want to miss that and you want to be there, make sure you are followed to me on Twitch. I, can, I, I cannot stress this. I cannot stress this enough. You must follow me on Twitch to be a part of this experience or you're not going to be able to be a part of it. Okay. I'm going to show you another combo here. This could be very similar to the first. Now, I want you to be in mind. We did, We are going first, and we did not open up the chalice. We opened up late. All right, so this is where I said the step, the, the start of this combo is very important. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon Venus to the far left. Okay? And then we are going to go ahead and trigger Venus' effect to summon a Shine Bull out of the deck. And immediately after we do that, we are going to link that Shine Bull off, and we are going to summon out an M Duke. So this probably looks familiar to you. Summon a Shine Bull again. You can also rewind or fast forward this video as much as you want. I will try to timestamp everything. So that way you guys can go, wait, I'm confused. I, I got lost here. That's okay. We're all here for you. Don't worry about it. Then we're going to summon Ib, trigger the Ib Duke, and special summon out the Lee. As I said before, you special the Lee. Okay? Then we search the Chalice. Special the Lee, search the Chalice. Okay? This is why I, I preached this before. Alright? Now, we're going to go ahead and trigger this. Special summon. And then we can go ahead and make Aurum here. Do that. And then we can trigger... Uh, we don't want to trigger Ib here. And make another M Duke. And then we can go ahead and tribute over... Uh, we can even tribute over Venus at this point if we want to. Tributing over Venus is um, completely okay here if we want to do that. And then we can tribute over that. And then we can go ahead and make Ib. Now, with Ib, we trigger our Chalice because uh, who does not want a plus two out of the deck? I've never met a soul who does not want to do that. We're going to go ahead and summon, very important, we're going to summon Orem here. Chosen by the World Chalice. And we're going to go ahead and summon you. And we're going to summon you. Now, it points left to right so we can make our third copy of our big boy. Our M. Duke. And then we are going to go ahead and link summon here. And this is going to proc ourselves a draw two. Summon the Ningrisu. Activate the M. Duke. If they have a counter trap, you can activate bolt effects. It does make sense to do that. So for those wondering, does it ever make sense to proc bolt effects? Yes, it does. Okay, just to give you a point there in case you, you're unsure. Hey, do I ever proc bolt effects? Y yes, it, there is some sensibility to doing that. So if you want to do that, by all means, go right ahead. Now keep in mind, all right, we can still continue the combo here. So we're not done. By all means, we are not done. We can still continue to combo off if we so heartly desire to. Again, you, 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 we generally do going first. So, you know, being that, we would like to. Uh, so, we can actually summon Firewall pointing here now. So, we're going to go ahead and summon Firewall. Uh, great. Excellent. Also... Uh, keep in mind, Firewall can also um, summon... Uh, ORM can summon Firewall back from the graveyard, for those who do not know. You can. Uh, for those who are uncertain of that, you absolutely can. Um, so you have the opportunity to decide, hey, I'd like to summon Firewall back, and then uh, you can do that by all means. Uh, if you wanted to. Um, oh, did I just chit chat and mess up? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> ah, I, 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 I did, I did it, I did a bit. I did a bit mess it up. Uh, 
Um, okay. Yeah. I did mess it up. If Actually, if we ran a third, it, it might be optimal. Um, so what we might want to do in advance is run like a third ib here. So like, what you, what we might do is I might play a third copy of ib because if we play a third copy of ib, this is a little bit easier to co-link here, and then we have a uh, a really good field uh, because uh, we can then if we have ib make it to where we have an untargetable field. So yeah, having an ib here would be really good. So if we have a third ib, we can end on a field that consists of these two. Uh, there was something I could do there that I kind of got a little bit lost in the combo descriptions. But we could make a third ib here, which is really good. So if we run a third ib, which I think I'm going to do, then we can end like a third ib and then have decode this into third ib. And be really good as a turn one field. So that's an option as well. Okay, so that's that. I'm just going to surrender here. I don't care whether we win or lose this. All right. Now, that's pretty much the basic combo. I want to go over one more combo line. All right. So, I would like to open up Chalice without Venus. So, I can show you a combo end that includes those two. Okay. You're not going to let me open this, are you? Fine. I want some in Venus here. We'll just do this. Yeah, we'll do this without Venus. She's not even there. All right? Don't don't even look at her. I don't want to know she's there. Only problem is we're going to lack extenders, but... All right. When you don't open up Venus, we do normal summon Lee here. So don't even pay attention to Venus being there. We're going to search Lee, and then we can get the chalice. When we open Venus, we do not normally because we want the extra summon. Then we're going to go directly into Orium. No Ip here. Alright. Um, actually, that's going to be a problem because now I lack the extenders. Yeah, we can't do it with this hand because the problem here is I lack the extenders. I guess in this case, uh, yeah, I can't do it with this hand because the problem is we lack the extenders extenders we need. So we'd have to summon Venus here. Yeah, you would have to summon Venus. I thought it could work with this hand, but you can't. Yeah. With this hand, we couldn't do it because we'd have to summon Venus there. Yeah. Alright, let's do it again. You'd have to summon Venus. The combo goes off with that hand, but you can't you can't do it without Venus there because you need another normal. We needed a we needed another um any at literally anything else. Otherwise we can't combo off there the way I want because I need to extend into um nope that's not the hand I want it's not the hand I want I'm gonna give it a few tries otherwise otherwise um what you can do is you can follow me on Twitch and we'll get it there I'll show it to you over there so I'll leave the link in the description below so let's give it one or two more tries to see this hand Otherwise, we'll stop because we're already at 38 minutes. In this video, I don't want it too long. Okay, come on, give me the end. Okay, that, that's good enough. Perfect. All right, this should be good enough. All right, so what we're going to do... I swear. Every time I don't want Venus to be in the end, she's going to be there. Uh, all right, is we're going to go ahead and summon. Now that we have an additional World Chalice in the end... We're going to go ahead and summon the Imduke. And then, because we opened up World Legacy Chalice and not Lee, we're going to tribute summon immediately. And then, we're going to trigger Imduke's effect, and we're going to special summon out the second Chalice. Then we're going to link these two up into Orem. And then we can activate our World Legacy, because we tribute summoned it. Special summoning out Lee and Gar Dragon. Gonna trigger Lee and we're gonna search our Orem or Chosen. I'm so used to saying Orem. Now in this case, we're gonna activate Orem. It's something we didn't do before. We're gonna tribute our Guard Dragon. And in this case, we're gonna summon back our M Duke. And now we get an additional normal summon here. Remember, we get a normal summon. The, the thing that nor you wanna keep in mind is that uh, your additional normal summon here 
have, you really don't want to normal sum to shine more, even though you say, hey, but that gives me value. No, it, uh, you can't. Actually, you can. You can. Never mind. We can. Because we already have that in rotation, so that's, I guess it's fine. So we can normal sum in this. And then we will go ahead and make ib using set shine ball. And then we can go ahead and try to threaten out another monster here. So we can go ahead. And, and this is what a less optimal amp, by the way. But I want to show this off so that we know what you're doing. And then we can go ahead and make an Ingirisu. Now, keep in mind we have Venus and Anne. Generally, when I'm doing this line, we don't have Venus and Anne. Because if we have Venus and Anne, we're summoning Venus. So you would generally end up having another World Chalice in the hand. So if you get what I'm saying. So if you had another World Chalice, you would summon it and then you would draw two. All right, instead of drawing one and we'd be back here again. Okay, so you recognize where we can get back here and here. Now, if we're going second, we could activate Ningirsu. We could send, I don't know, pretend that was a wolf. And then we could send one of his monsters to the graveyard. And then we have the ability. We can actually extend even further here. Remember what I talked about extending with Lee? We can add back Lee. We could have actually did that, I think, before. We could add back Lee to get the second World Chalice to get a second draw. So that's something we potentially could have done there. Um, so the next thing we can do is we can um, attempt to extend if we wanted to. Um, the thing is, if we go in the firewall, there's no way in heck we're going to be able to co-link it. But, it, it, yeah, actually we could. We could. If we went turn one, we could use these two to make like a firewall set up in the grave and then link off if we want to. So that is a play we could technically make. Uh... Yeah, that's a play technically we can make as well if we wanted to do that. We can also link into Imduke. This is another play we can make. Um, and then get another special summon on Am. But we already get that off of the gear too. So there's like you can you can make Imduke here and then do this if you're going turn one. So for instance, if we're going turn one, we can do this. Summon out a firewall. And then have this co-linked. And then, pretty much, you're ending on that. You don't need to summon Lee here. You know, you don't have to. You could even, like, what you could do, too, is, like, if you're going turn two, like, if you're going turn one, you can just end on this and this, which is decent. But if you're going turn two, what you could do is you could end on, um, you could get a bounce. So, like, you could send off with Nagirisu, then bounce here, and then go into... Uh, like Oram for lethal. So like if we bounce, let's get another bounce, right? Let's say we bounce here, right? So we can bounce uh, his field spell. We can even bounce a card out of our graveyard if we wanted to. Oh, this can only bounce monsters. But if you had another monster in the field, then we could do that. Uh, we can also do this as well if we want to get fancy. We can add back our, our chalice to our hand, right? So if we want to get fancy. The one thing you have to keep in mind about Firewall Dragon is you can only use its effect to bounce once face up while it's on the field. So keep that in mind. We get fancy here. We can summon an Oram or Ib and then trigger M Duke and special summon a World Chalice here. If we want to get super fancy and then make a Deco Talker under it. So if we want to do that, we can also do this as well or just pass on that, but that's not really worth. You just might as well pass on the Firewall Bounce. But, and then you can attack directly and lethal there. So again, even still, uh, you know, you're able to get lethal in many different ways. And that gets you two boosts, you know, if you want to get fancy there. And that's what the less optimal setup, you know, as opposed to the more optimal one. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's going to be it for me. If you want to see me play this live. And again, I'm still... Mastering this deck, but I've gotten a lot stronger um, with it in the last 24 hours. So, uh, if you want to follow me, come watch, come learn with me, follow me on Twitch. Uh, link will be in the description below. Until next time, I'm Tilt Try signing out. Peace.